All right, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can make your audio, whether it's for YouTube videos or for streaming, just a little bit better. And um, I've taken inspiration from a couple other videos, which I'll put in the description below. But uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to listen to yourself so you can monitor your audio, get the best sound quality so that your viewers are super happy. So the first thing I'm going to do for my video is I'm going to take all my filters off of my audio. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I'm going to go into filters. I'm going to go like this and do, 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 do. that's true. You guys can't see this. So. Let me make this small, bring it down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into filters. I'm going to take off my two filters I have here and here. And instantly, you guys should be able to hear that the sound quality is not as good. I'm going to put this to the side. Uh, click in here. What I'm going to do now on the little cogwheel is we're going to go into advanced audio properties. Click on that. Let's make this small. The reason I'm making it small is just uh, because of how my OBS is set up. But either way, so I'm using the Blue Ice microphone. That's the one right here. We are going to go to audio monitoring, which you see here. And we are going to press on mute output monitor only. And now instantly I can hear myself. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me twice, but I do. Uh, it's quite confusing. It's not super pleasant because there is the tiniest bit of delay. Um, I don't like to hear myself while I stream just because I find it a little bit distracting unless you have a, say, like a mic that has a built-in sound card or something. Uh, but you can put sync offset, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so let's close this. We're going to go back here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to apply the filters one by one. First thing I like to do is put the noise suppression. Um, that's our most basic thing if we have CPU fans in the background that we don't want to hear or just, I don't know, maybe someone's making noise somewhere. Uh, this is the filter for you. So I'm going to put my mic next to my computer because it's running. Let's put the volume up. And here we go. So you guys should be able to hear that. It should be pretty loud. So we're going to add where is it? Um, noise suppression. The second I press OK, that CPU fan will be gone. And just like that, super crazy. I like to use this one. I find it works really good. It's very loud. If you're trying to do something like, I don't know, like ASMR, or, you know, you're, you're trying to make some sounds, this one sometimes will cut that out. So you're better off going with this one. And here you can really control CPU fan. The default is good, no more CPU. But for me, if it's just my voice, like if I'm just talking, I find this one's good. Also, this will cut out your keyboard sounds just a little bit. So, you know, just some more. Let's bring this back and close. Whoops. Did not want to do that. Filters. Wow, I'm, I'm hearing myself in double. This is this is horrible. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to go into game. I'm going to lower my mic. So I usually have this around 30. As you can see, when I talk, it's not super loud. I'm not someone who talks loud unless I've drank a lot of coffee. Um, I live in an apartment. I have neighbors. I don't want to bother them uh, if possible. So I find it very useful to have a gain. So I'm talking blah, 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 blah. And now I have my gain. It's at zero. I usually put it around 10, but I'm going to use the cog so you can see. So I'm just going to say blah, blahs and move the cog. So blah, 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 uh, so like I said, I like to have it around 10. That works for me. Uh, now I can almost borderline whisper. Like if you're doing ASMR and you want to talk like this, you're actually going to hear it. So I find this super, super useful. Actually, it sounds a bit loud now because I can hear myself. But once I'm recording, it's usually perfect. So <clears throat> that being said, we can close this. And that is literally it. So the most important part of this video is 
the fact that you can monitor yourself because if not you have to record listen to it go back it can take a lot of time so this i find is the most useful and once you're done unless you want to hear yourself with delay hit that off button and now i just hear my own voice coming out of me which is way better and uh yeah, if you want, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, you can try and play around with the sync offset. Personally, I think because my um, my mic doesn't have a sound card, it won't work. I can't get it to like be a little bit better. Uh, I can't get live like the second I talk, you hear it right away. So for me, it's pretty much pointless. But if you have like, I think the video I seen, the guy was saying he had the blue Yeti or something or just a good mic or if you have a little sound box. But that's it. So two very very simple filters that will make your stuff sound way better and uh yeah so if you enjoyed this please let me know hit the like hit the sub uh, it always helps a small channel out and that being said i'll see you guys in the next video which just as a little spoiler will be how i use my canon t3i which is a I think a 10 year old camera now uh, as a webcam and there's two ways there's the expensive way the OBS link or there's the cheap way which is what I'm going to show you in my video because if there's one thing we like to do here on the Ollie Overwatch channel is figure stuff out as cheap as possible we like to DIY it so that being said um, see you guys in the next one